Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another video. It's time to go glamping because I built a very fancy luxurious cabin in Granite Forts. Granite Forts is the world that came with the outdoor retreat game pack. It's a vacation world so your sims cannot actually live there. So this is a cabin that your sims can rent and then they can have a more or less luxurious vacation because in Granite Forts you have the choice. You can just go camping in the woods or you rent a fancy cabin and you have a glamping, a glamorous camping experience. But of course you could also place this lot in any other world and in this case it functions as a regular residential lot so if you want to use this you can find it in the gallery and you can place it in granite forts so your sims can rent this cabin or you just place it in any world and your sims could even move in because i decided to build a cabin or lodge type of build granite forts was the obvious choice it's just a perfect world for a build like this it's it has the right setting and it just fits perfectly into granite forts but i've actually only built once before in this world and this was for a really fun Christmas collab in December 2018 where I collab with Chrissy, Miss Griffey, Sim Kim, Chloe Sims and Standing Simmer and it was a lot of fun but usually I don't really enjoy building in the vacation worlds and the reason for that is that you can access the build mode and then when you want to enter live mode you have to send a sim on vacation there and then you cannot access the build mode anymore so if you notice that anything is wrong maybe you're playtesting it and you just want to change something you have to send your sim back home then you go back to the to the world map you enter the build mode and back and forth back and forth i'm kind of chaotic when i'm building so usually i notice a couple of things wrong <laughs> when i'm done and this was annoying me so much but finally i figured out that i could use the the enable free build cheat to access the build mode even when my sim is on vacation. This is also the cheat that you can use when you want to build in six sim for example on any of the hidden lots and I thought hey maybe it might work and it did work so now it's a lot of fun I enjoy it and this wasn't super annoying and I think that I might actually create a couple of more of these builds in the future maybe in the world that came with jungle adventure I can never remember the name for some reason so if you want to ever build something in these vacation worlds i can totally recommend activating the baby dot enable free build sheet and you can just build and you don't have to worry about switching back and forth to live mode or maybe you're just not as chaotic as i am because i don't know i forgot the mailbox the bin just anything it passes blocks something weird happens and i just have to change a lot usually maybe this isn't the case for you and in this case i'm very happy for you but if you kind of face the same struggle that i'm facing then i can totally recommend using this cheat but now i want to explain something about this build and how i actually built this or you can recreate this yourself if you're interested in doing so i wanted to have an eye catcher in the back so i created a sunken campfire area for this i used the train tool so as you saw i raised the train on the whole lot basically because i had decided that i want to build the cabin on top of race terrain you guys know that i just love the train tools and then i used the train tools to create a hole in the ground and then i used some of the rocks that we got in the environment objects update so these are technically debug objects and you can access them by using the bb.show live edit objects cheat and these rocks are part of cats and dogs and i used them just to have a frame around it made out of rocks basically i can totally recommend using these rocks for these type of things for two reasons first of all they have a slightly curved shape which makes it very very easy to create around shapes with these rocks and also while other objects just kind of sit on top of the terrain when you place them near a slope on top of a slope these rocks are Kind of merged into the terrain and it's super super easy to create this and to just let the rock flow into the terrain it's a lot of fun to work with these so i used them to create the round shape and then i used an armchair that is part of kids room stuff and for this i placed lots of them just like some type of modular sofa all around the area so i have a round sofa going all around the campfire which looks super fun and it's actually functional i play tested this so even though they merged together the armchairs are not blocking each other which would have definitely been a possibility but luckily it's working at first i just built it because i had the vision in my head for this and i was super anxious that it wouldn't work out but it did so this is great and i can totally see this 
this in some type of modern mansion build maybe so you can use this for lots of different things so if you want to build this yourself you have to activate the move objects sheet otherwise you won't be able to play stuff inside each other basically so these chairs are actually able to touch each other and you can merge them so it's working and then you have to make sure that you have activated the sims 3 camera because this is not working with the sims 4 camera you can change the camera in the top right hand corner and then you press alt on your keyboard and at the same time you're pushing a left mouse button and then when you're moving your mouse you will see that you can rotate objects freely and you just have to create a curve so you have to rotate each object a little bit more this sounds a bit tricky and to be honest it can be tricky at first if you've never done this before i also think i've said this before that it's some type of muscle memory thing once you got the hang of it it's super super simple one word of advice for this you can place a round rock there are multiple rocks um, even base game rocks that are completely round and if you place it down you can use it as some type of guideline place your objects around it and then just get rid of it afterwards so you have some type of stencil basically which makes it really really easy and then you just place them and when you hold down alt on your keyboard objects won't snap to the grid so you can place it exactly where you want your object to be i've also made a lot of tutorials and in many of them i explain this in detail i can recommend watching the round pool tutorial where i use the get famous pristine pedestal to create a round shape above the ocean and in this tutorial i explain step by step how to create round shapes and i have used the exact same method here i'm going to link it down below in the description box so if you want to learn this then you can go watch it so on the right side separated from the rest of the house i have created another building this area just appeared to be too empty for me and i didn't want to place more rocks or trees or anything and this is actually a little room a little hut or a little additional cabin where your sims can have a little party so this is a little barbecue hut i placed a barbecue grill on the inside also a dance floor you will see this later in the video so this is just some area where you can have a little party maybe of course i've also created a big patio area with the trellis above and then there's a fireplace where sims can also sit on the outside so so it depends what kind of weather it is but your sims can also just go over there and have a barbecue there you could also get rid of what i built on the inside and use this as a room for a butler or maybe a greenhouse some type of additional room whatever you like but this is the vision that i had in my head for this i used the toddler stuff pack lights to make it look a bit more dreamy on the outside so i wanted to have a little contrast between the kind of modern looking area the sunken campfire area because of the white sofa and the lights in the ground it looks more modern so there is a contrast going on and then on at the top on the patio it looks very traditional and very very much like a cabin in my opinion also for the roofs i used a little method where you just place two smaller roofs in the center and you pull the eaves out and then you can apply the base game glass roof pattern so it almost looks invisible so you can create these type of roofs so it's very very easy you just build your roof then you place two smaller roofs on the inside you pull the eaves out you apply the glass color to the two smaller roofs and then there is a little column that is part of seasons it's not a regular column like the columns that you can find in the column section it's in the decoration section so just go to decorations and filter by seasons and then you can place it in the center and this way you can create this look the good thing about the seasons column is that you can size it up because regular columns cannot be sized up or down but this because it's just a decorative object you can size it up or down and you can just use it for any type of window really here i had to connect the house that i built in the back with the rest of the house in the patio area so your sims will actually be able to access this area for this i just built some stairs so you can actually walk up the stairs from the outside and access the garden area this way or the the room in the back or you can just access the house in the front go to the patio and then walk up to the building in the back and this is the interior furnishing this was a lot of fun this house actually only has one floor the only room at the top is a very small dormer and it wasn't 
big enough to justify adding stairs for this and giving up a lot of space at the bottom so i just left it empty and it's just a one floor build this makes totally sense for a cabin for a rental cabin for vacation purposes in my opinion i know that a lot of players actually enjoy playing in bungalows and just any type of build with only one floor because it's super easy you don't have to switch up and down because sometimes you almost lose your sims and you don't know what's going on it can be super stressful so if you enjoy only playing on one floor then this build is definitely for you probably but i think it makes sense for any type of rental cabin because at least in my experience these type of cabins oftentimes only have one floor so there are three bedrooms i was actually able to squeeze in three bedrooms into this build there are two regular bedrooms so for grown-ups just regular beds and then there is one kids room and i put two beds into the kids room Room so you can go on vacation or live in this house with two kids and of course you could also remodel the other room but this is how I build it. The kitchen is the eye catch of the MT room opinion. I actually decided to expand the kitchen a bit more and I added more counters so I was able to I don't know, it just flows together so nicely in my opinion. I placed the dining table in front of the counters and these counters are part of parenthood. They are super amazing for any type of rustic build. I almost forgot to place a fridge. As I said, I'm kind of a chaotic builder, but I remember to put a fridge there and I hope that I placed a bin here, but even if I haven't, I'm going to edit before I upload this to the gallery. <laughs> I'm so sorry if this happens. So if you, see that i'm missing anything in a speed build or if i don't show all of it this doesn't mean that it's actually missing in the build in the gallery i actually take a close look before uploading and when i notice that i forgot a fridge or a bin or anything then i just place it before uploading but once this was an island living build i actually i furnished the whole house the bottom floor the top floor I uploaded it to the gallery and then I noticed that I forgot to add some stairs. <laughs> so I had two completely furnished floors and there were no stairs and there wasn't really space for any stairs. And then someone pointed that out in the comments it was like, did you forget? got to play stairs and I thought nah I didn't I probably just didn't record it or I edited it before uploading right and no I checked the build I actually forgot to add some stairs and then I pulled it off the gallery added the stairs remodeled it a bit and we uploaded and yeah so if you ever notice something like this I'm really sorry but usually this just happened once in I don't know over one year of building and creating youtube videos here and that's only happened once but yeah i can be a bit chaotic sometimes so i used a lot of the outdoor retreat furniture for this which again was a the obvious choice. I mean, I built this in Granite Falls and I was going for this kind of cabin look and I just love that we got this pack and this furniture. It's just super amazing. I have been binge watching a lot of videos about Yosemite. This may have inspired me to build this. I don't know. I just randomly decided to build some type of cabin and I was just feeling this. I just had a lot of fun to build this and I have been binge watching all these videos and just so beautiful. One day I want to visit Yosemite. It's so so beautiful. It's just it's just breathtaking. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been there because whenever I'm talking about these spectacular places and, and stuff you guys are like yeah I've been there which is super amazing I'm so happy for you guys when I was recreating falling water for example many of you have actually been there and you guys shared your experience with me which was amazing I love to read these stories from you guys so this is it guys here are a couple of screenshots from the exterior and interior as I said you can find this in the gallery you can find all the information in the description box down below including the tutorial that I mentioned I hope that you have a fantastic week thank you so so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video bye bye